So, this video is going to be about the recent change to Half-Life, which rendered almost every mod unplayable. Now that being said, I've looked into this a little bit further, and there are a few workarounds, but nothing I would suggest as a permanent fix. The first thing we need to talk about is what did this update change? The update dubbed the Steam Pipe Update was set to make some of Valve's games more compatible with Mac and Linux, while also making changes to some of the game engines and where the files were stored. The games are now in the common folder in Steam, and GCF files are no longer being used. All of the content is now stored somewhere within the game's own common folder or within a VPK file. One should note it is still possible to edit or make changes to those VPK files with something like GCFscape or the VPK file opener which is included within the game's directory. Now the first obvious issue I faced when trying to install some of the older Half-Life mods was that the installer wouldn't find where Half-Life was installed right away. Now that can be solved easily by manually telling it where to go hang out. Each mod you try might have a different issue. Some people reported crashing and paranoia, there's multiple issues and technical problems with Cry of Fear, and with older mods like USS Dark Star, the mouse only turns left or right about 90 degrees. And also I tried Master Sword Continued, one of my personal favorites, and the enemy models only show up about half the time. So that's cut to the point, there's a whole slew of problems. Now, Valve is working on it. They've acknowledged that the update has caused this to happen, and Alfred Reynolds from Valve is manning a GitHub page for all of us to spam him with our problems. Alfred is also the guy currently in charge of updating the Half-Life beta on Steam, which leads me to my next point perfectly. If your mod of choice isn't running how it should, the first step in troubleshooting would be to try the Half-Life beta. This is done in Half-Life by right-clicking on Half-Life, going to Selection Properties, then on the top right-hand side, click the Betas tab, then in the drop-down box, choose Beta, Beta, then close that, go back into Half-Life's Properties, then choose Local Files and select Verify Integrity of Game Cache. Then this will download any missing files for the beta. For me, this beta fixed the mouse issues present in some of the older mods like Darkstar. This beta doesn't fix every mod, but it's the first step in getting some mods working again. If you are having issues with a single player mod, and if you have an older Half-Life Game of the Year edition disc, I would recommend installing and updating that version of Half-Life and then it should have the same compatibility with single player mods as the Steam version does. This is known as the WON or WAN edition of Half-Life. WON stands for World Opponent Network, which is currently no more. But I'll include the links for the hard to find updates, and the most recent update under the Steamless project gives Half-Life access to WON2 which allowed me to get online with Half-Life. But anyway, to run a mod with the WAN version of Half-Life, after you drop your mod into the Half-Life folder, you want to right-click on hl.exe and create a shortcut. Right-click on that shortcut and choose Properties, then enter the Shortcut tab at the end of the target box, add a space, then type in dash game and then type the folder name for the mod for example if I want to play paranoia I would add a space then a dash then type in paranoia to play the mod as long as you did everything correctly just double click on the shortcut the graphics aren't as great, but they're certainly acceptable.
So, what if the mod is still broken? Well, you're f***ed. But, what if we still had the old Half-Life installed, and if we still had the old files? Well, Cherry Loop over at Wanga NS form had some of the old files from a backup, or he went back in time, or something to get them. Either way, they are available for all of us to download and use. If you are determined to play your old Half-Life mods that refuse to work for you, you would download these files, extract them with something like 7-Zip or WinRAR, then rename your Half-Life folder to something else to save it, and then create a new Half-Life folder, and then drag and drop the files within the archive into that new Half-Life folder. Then install your mods that you know and love to that Half-Life folder, and they should play just fine, with the exception of some of the online mods who have already updated to the new format or files. But if the server you're using has the same files as you, they should work. But really, it's a hit and miss. Until Valve fixes this issue, this is really the best way for us to play our beloved mods on Half-Life. Until next time, this has been Dead Rockstar from ModInformer.net. Thanks for watching this, and if you would like to see more reviews and videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on our Facebook.